Hello and welcome to a video from filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. I'm Chris with a K. There's a link in the description of my website, as well as a link to this GitLab page with all the examples we're going over in this series. Again, this is a series. Check out the description of this video for the full playlist, and eventually it will be posted here on the GitLab page as well. Today, we're going to uh, make some custom sounds and also enable random sounds. It's super simple. Uh, in fact, we don't even need, really need to do any scripting, although I am going to use some notes I have on some code to automate some stuff, which you may or may not do, but I'll go over the manual way first. So to look at this example, if you go to my GitLab page, go to examples and find the directory called random sounds. Right now there's really nothing in there. We're about to create it. So here I am in the same directory. I have nothing in here. I'm going to make a directory called um, sounds. And in that I can move into there. And I can put files right in here. I can also create uh, directory, subdirectories if I want to categorize stuff. It's important to give each sound file its own unique name though. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say uh, Audacity, which is a sound recording application. And I'm going to record me making a gun sound. So I'm just going to say bang. And I am going to highlight this and I'm going to say file export. Again, you can use whatever audio editor you want. Now, old school Doom, original Doom was very, very specific. You had to have wave format at a certain rate. Newer versions of Doom don't really, really care. Uh, so if you, you know, we're working with GZ Doom, you can do wave, you can do AUG. I'm going to do wave file here. I'm going to do stereo. I'm going to do current selection. So I trim away the excess sound. And where am I going to save this? I'm going to go in here. Yep. Random sounds. And I'll just call this bang.wave. Save. And I will export that. Now, if you guys need some visual, I'll go back into the main directory here. And I know not everyone's used to the shell, so I'll open up a file explorer here. This is the directory I'm in, the random sound directory. There's a sound folder, and then there's a folder called uh, the bang.wave, okay? Now, to use that sound, we need to create a file. Now, if you go, again, to my GitLab page, under extras, there's a folder now called notes, and we have sound scripts. Uh, and again, we're gonna ignore a lot of this right now. This is stuff that I've given as example to automate stuff. But right down here, we can see that for the player pistol, uh, the sound, the, the file has to be called, uh, or not the file, but we have to reference it as weapon slash pistol. Okay, and then we can give it the name. So we wanna put that information into a uh, SND info. So I'm going to create a file called SND info. And in there, I am going to say weapon slash sound or weapon slash pistol. I'm going to tab over, just have a, an empty space there and I'll give it the name of the file I just created without the extension, which I, did I call it bang one? Let's see, list sounds, no, just bang wave. So let's go in there and it should bang, bang. Now that should be all I have to do. I don't have to code anything out. I just create this file saying this sound is now referenced as this. And I can create custom sounds as well, but right now we're overriding one that already exists. So now I can say GZ doom. And again, Hopefully you watched previous videos, but we're saying, look at the current directory. We're starting up Doom 2. Let's warp to level 1. And now my pistol should be my voice going bang, if I've done everything correctly. Now, the enemy pistols still sound like pistols, so we have to change their attack sound now. Now, I could create a new zombie and say, look at the file that I just created. Um, but what I could also do is in here... And another line, if you look at my notes here, grunt attack is the default name for a zombie attack. And I'll just say bang for that. Now, if I, again, run GZ Doom saying to, for the file, look at the current directory. Uh, we are going to run Doom 2, go to map 1, and now we have... So that's great. We've replaced a default sound, but it's always playing the same bang sound. Wouldn't it be nice if the gun just had slightly different sounds every single time? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to record myself saying bang a few different times. I'm going to remove uh, this bang wave. And instead of going into Audacity, I'm actually just going to use socks. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to say uh, record a file uh, using socks. I don't know if I need this first little command. Let's see if this works. Uh, so I'm in my sounds directory. Bang, 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 bang. Okay, now I have one file. If I play it out, it's called temp.wave. Bang, 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 bang. 
Now this next command is going to take that temp file and remove all the silences and split it up based on the silences. So if I do that, and it's going to name them all bang with a number preceding it. So now I have five bang sounds, which I don't think I recorded five, which means it may have found an empty space. I'm going to remove the uh, temp wave, and I'm going to go ahead and say play bang all the bang files. Bang, 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 bang. So let's go ahead and just see five wave. Yeah, the last one, it seems to always have a little excess sound at the end there. I will remove that one. It's probably me clicking the mouse or something like that that's being picked up. So now I have four files of me saying bang different ways. Bang, 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 bang. And again, you can go into whatever audio program you want to record and record separate sounds. Well, what I'm going to do now is I need to modify, right? So we have our sound file, SND info file. And I can manually go in here and create uh, individual sounds for each one. But we're programmers, right? We're learning the script. I have this nice little script here, and I'm just going to run it. It's going to basically look at for all files in the sound directory and generate this uh, uh, SND info file for us. So now if I just run that one command, I can go in there and look. It's created a file called bang2. Basically, these are the 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 names that we're calling it, and then it's looking for this file. And I can proceed it with different slashes, but we need to name it, right? I can go through here and name these each, you know, weapons pistol. We're not gonna do that though, because we're gonna create random sounds. How do we do that? Well, this next little line, create random groups act uh, uh, automatically. This is going to look at that file and generate something new. So now we will go into there. And so we still have these first four lines saying, okay, this is a new sound, this is the file, this is the new sound, this is the file. But then down here, I'm, it, it found the beginning of each one of these, it's saying random, bang, and then these are the four random sounds it can play. So now I can edit the code for a player, but all I have to do is come in here and replace that with this. So again, what are we doing here? We've created four new sounds. These are what the files are called. Again, if I put them in subdirectories, they would have the name and forward slash. That's what it's going to be called. This is the name of the file. It doesn't really matter where it is. It seems to just know to look for a file with that name. Then we're saying, okay, we're creating a random sound. We're replacing, in this case, weapon slash pistol with one of these random sounds each time. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that line. And instead of weapons pistols, I'm going to say grunt attack. So now... Obviously, I could create different sounds for the enemy, but we're going to go here. Again, up here is just the list of sounds and what they're called, and then here we're saying random. We're replacing weapons pistol with one of these each time, and same with the grunt attack. Hopefully, that makes sense. Uh, it should. I mean, it's it's very straightforward, but I can see if you're if you're new to programming, maybe you may not understand concepts like that. But hopefully, you can play around with it and figure out. But now, every time I shoot and they shoot it will randomly play one of those four sounds. So we didn't need to do any coding. We just had to basically create a config file. Now, let's go a little bit further. I'm going to go into my sounds folder, and I'm going to create another folder. I'll call it uh, site. So or, or when they see you, I want it to say... Yeah, I'll just say site. So it's it's like when the enemy sees you. I'll go into that directory. Again, I'll use my example here. I will record a wave file. Hello. Hey. What's going on? Howdy. Hey, hey, hey. And then I will split that up into different files. Then I will remove the temp file. And now I have, I named them all bang. I shouldn't have done that. Sorry, I grabbed the wrong piece of code. Let's go ahead and do that again. Uh, we're going to use this line here. This is going to ask me what to name it before it records it. And I can actually highlight this all in one. I'm just splitting it up for you, but we'll do, you'll see. So here it's going to say, what do I want to name it? We're going to name it hello. And then I will say, hello. Hey, howdy. Hi. Hey, hey, hey. And now we will split that up. And we will delete the original temp file. And now I have six hello files. Hello, hey, howdy, hi, hey, hey, hey. And 
And again, the last one sounds like it's blank, so we'll just remove that. So now I have five greeting sounds. So I'll go back out to the main directory where my project is. And now I will run this command. I will run this command. Then I will go into here and you can see it's created the bang sounds. It's created the hello sight sounds. And down here it's created the random lines for those. So again, to not have to edit any code, I am going to go make that the pistol. I will copy that line and then I will replace that with and again, I'm just using the same pistol sounds, but you can make different pistol sounds for them. And then I have here, hello. I'll just leave that as, well, no. What I'm gonna do now is again, go to my project here. We'll go to the extras folder. We'll go to actors. Then we will go down to possessed, right? That's where our basic characters are. We have the zombie man. And then we have their C sound, which is grunt sight. And you know what? I just realized I wrote the wrong type of sight when I labeled that folder. Uh, that's funny. Okay, anyway, we are going to now just replace this. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that I use the wrong type of site. I'm thinking of websites, I guess. I don't know. So now it will use one of those random hellos every time a zombie man will see me. So, GZ Doom, we will go into it. <laughs> they still grunt, but you can see they each say a different random greeting every time they run. Uh, and we can also modify their pain sound, which we can see right here. Their pain sound is grunt pain. So let's create another folder. Just as another example, I'm just doing multiple examples so that you guys can uh, kind of get the concept here. I'm going to make a directory and I'm going to call it pain. I'm going to move into that directory and I'm going to go back to my example code here. So grunt pain will be that sound. We'll need to know that in a minute. We are going to go to, not the readme, but to the extras, notes, sounds, and I am going to just run this right here. I'm actually gonna run all this as one command. And I'm going to go, ouch. <laughs> Ow! Oh! Hey! Ow! That hurts! And already, uh, if, again, for those that you need a visual, I'll open up my file manager. Here I am in my main project with my SD info file. Sounds, we have our pain folder here, and then we have these sounds here. I'm gonna assume the last one is blank, so I'm just gonna delete that. That just seems the way we're going. So again, my scripts here are just to automate it for you to make things a little bit quicker when you're playing around here. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this command here. Let's go ahead and close this. Uh, to save time, instead of overriding the file, I am just going to append to it. So now I can go into the sounds folder here and I can erase the duplicates. And I am now going to just say, here I'll run this script and then I'll go in and erase, remove the duplicates. And do, 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 ouch, bang, hello. So we don't need a lot of this. Delete that, delete that, and that. And so now we got our random bangs up there. We got our hellos. So we just need to change this to grunt pain. What did I, oh, yep, 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 sorry pain and got to spell things right. Okay, so again, the order doesn't really matter. If we want, we can move this up here just for consistency. We have our bang sounds and what they're labeled. We have our sight sounds and what they're labeled. We have our pain sounds and what they're labeled. Then we're replacing the weapon sound with a random one of those bangs, their attack sounds with a random one of the bangs, their sight sound with one of the random hellos, and then they're gonna have these random grunt sounds, which are the ouch files. If I did everything properly, and you know what, I think I accidentally deleted one of our pain sounds. So let's go ahead and just 
yank that, paste that, and relabel this one. So again, my scripts to help, but sometimes if you mess things up, you still have to manually do stuff. If I did everything properly, and again, you'll be able to download this example and play around with it. Now, when they get hurt, they should say one of my ouch sounds. They're still saying the, they're, um, let's look again. They're, it's working, but there's lot, so many sounds going on. Let's go back into our extras, actors, possessed, and let's change their death sound. Yeah, which is just grunt death. So we will exit out of the game. Also, the original sounds seem to be louder than what I'm recording at. Uh, but we will go into that sound folder here and we have our ouch sounds. Let's go ahead and clone that and just replace that with death, right? That was the death sound. Now we run this and now when they die, they should say one of those ouch sounds as well. Should be a little bit clearer. You get the idea. I want to do lots of examples for you in case you got lost. But again, download my project from GitLab and just go into that directory, use it, and then just start playing with the files. That's one of the best ways to learn how to program. Instead of just starting from scratch, take something that already exists and modify it. I mean, that's why we're modifying Doom, right? We're not starting Doom from scratch, which you could, but to be able to just modify the game. So again, download it. This particular example is under examples and it's random sounds. And you can, it, I'll have to upload it. It isn't uploaded yet because we just created it. But I thank you for watching. Again, visit filmsbychris.com. There you can go to the support section. You can support me in one of these many ways. If you can't support me financially, think about liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting. And as always, thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day. Be sure to watch the full playlist. A link in the description of the video.